Hello, welcome back. Hello, did you? Yes, and it's not. Oh, no problem. What? I was going to say, I bet it's very late in Brazil right now, isn't it? Yes, yes. 2, <laughs> 2 a.m. 2 a.m.? Oh, wow. Yes. Do you yes, have in my city, in the capital of Brazil, it's 3 a.m. Wow. Because, because the... Who's horário? Okay, I don't know. Different time zones? Yes, yes, time zones. Yes. Wow. And do you work in the morning? No, no. I'm, I'm on, 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 on vacances. Vacances? Yes, on holiday, yes. Oh, you're on vacation, or on... Uh, uh, vacation, vacation. Your day off, oh, okay. Yeah. That's good. How long have you been studying English? I'm studying... for... three years, I think. But... Uh, but it's a regular class. Then I study just... Uh, I stood in the school just on, on Saturday. Oh, one one uh, day a week. Yes, yeah, yes, yeah, and uh, two two hours. Well, I see. Yeah. It's hard to learn that way. Yes. I think you need to practice more often to get it. 
Yes, I I, I intend to to go to to Canada to improve my English. Oh, really? You want to live in Canada? Yes, I I intend to. Oh, well, that's But, good. Yeah. Well, good luck. I hope that works out for you. Oh yes. It looks like we're having a few more people join us. Thank you for being here. I see uh, Diego's joined us and Abdurzak. Did I say your name right? Yeah, Abdurzak. Yeah. Well, welcome to class. Thank you. Ah, thank you for coming. I'm going to refresh my my browser. Just a moment. Okay. Okay. Haas is here. Fantastic. Yeah. How are you, sir? Fine. How are you tonight? I'm good. Thank you. Fantastic. We'll wait for just a minute and see if anyone else wants to join us on video. I see we have Luis and Tran on chat. Hello. How are you tonight, Luis and Tran? of us. Well, why don't we get started? I'm sure everybody would like a lot of practice tonight. And so we'll begin our conversation. And um, I'd just like to remind you uh, that tonight when we're on air, it's very helpful if we mute our microphones uh, when we're not talking. Okay. Sometimes if there's noise in the background, it will interfere with other people's ability to practice. So um, when you choose not to speak, if you could mute your microphone, we would appreciate that. Uh, but beyond that, we welcome all participation, and we're happy that you're here. Uh, Ivan, I know, is from Brazil. He was with me in my last class a couple hours ago. Do you want to introduce yeah. yourself to the class? What? Would you like to introduce yourself to the class? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, it was great. Fantastic. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, tell the class, uh, if you don't mind, where you're from. And tonight we're going to talk about computers and other electronics. I love electronics and playing with gadgets. And uh, I thought it would be fun to talk about those. Um, So when you introduce yourself, if you could tell us what is your favorite electronic gadget? Yeah, my favorite it's the the notebook. Yes. Notebook, okay. Yes, because when I ha I have a, an iPad and a uh, smartphone but my my use is just to to consult or query could you repeat that your use is just to what consultar consult or query query oh like searching uh, searching Oh, okay. look, look, look my emails, oh, mm. it's not a, uh, uh, usual, usual, yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate it, and it's nice to have you in class again. Mm. Uh, I see Max just joined us. Max? Uh, hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Uh, tonight we're talking about electronics. Would you like to introduce yourself and tell us what is your favorite uh, electronic gadget? Hmm. Uh, uh, I my favorite uh, electronic gadget is uh, telephone, mobile telephone. Okay. Uh, This is the most important thing uh, for our life. Uh, uh, it's investing, and 
and very uh, uh, very uh, very wise uh, very wise uh, yeah, gadget uh, for our life. Uh, also, um, uh, uh, whoever uh, wants to call uh, call us, they can uh, they can reach reach us. Uh, um, on the other hand, uh, there are many uh, gadgets uh, yes. who people uh, wants to use, uh, and also uh, uh, computers, uh, iPads, and um, a, a lot of things. Uh, I know. Mm. Okay. Uh, actually, many many well, things. Thank you, uh, Max. I don't know actually. Yeah. Okay. And and Max, where are you located tonight? Uh, Turkey. In Turkey. Okay. Well, welcome. welcome. Uh, thank you. Ahas, uh, would you like to tell us where you're from, please, and what is your favorite gadget? Hi, everybody. I'm Ahas from Malaysia. Um, one of my favorite uh, gadgets or electronic uh, stuff uh, is uh, my iPod. I can't live without it. You know, okay. Many different applications. You can you know, you have games. You have, uh, and uh, you can listen to music, watch movies, many different things. And uh, as uh, I'm a medical student, there are many medical applications. So I can read even some books on my iPod. So. It changed my life. It helped me a lot. Oh, well, that's fantastic. I'm glad you use it for uh, useful things. That's yeah. good. Well, thank yeah. you for joining class. Thank you. Uh, Diego, it's your turn. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Uh, well, uh, it is my first class here today. Uh, I am a little lost <laughs> about the the tools. Well, basically, Diego, um, we just ask that uh, you participate the most you can. Um, okay. If you have earphones, uh, that will help reduce the echo. But besides okay. that, we just want you to participate as much as you can, and we're happy do, you're do, in class. Do you do you hear me well? Yes, sir. Yes, very well. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, my name is Diego. I'm from Costa Rica. Fantastic. And Diego, what's your favorite electronic gadget? Well, my favorite electronic gadget is uh, my cell phone because I can share all my images or videos with my friends or in the social networks and also my laptop. Okay. Wonderful. Very useful tools. Thank you. We're glad you're here with us. Okay. Abdrasak, uh, please introduce yourself and tell us what you uh, like to use for electronics. Well, I am Abdrasak from Algeria. How do you everybody? Hello. <laughs> Welcome. Yeah, thank you. My favorite uh, stuff or gadget, I think, is Galaxy Tab or Galaxy Note, iPad, because it's useful to check in your email or check in for news, uh, meet with your friend on social networks, reading some books or previous documents, and okay. watching movies. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you so much. We're glad you're here with us. Thank you. Sadat, welcome to class. Uh, yes, you're welcome. Um, my name is Sadat, and I'm from Sri Lanka. Okay, Nick? Hello? From Sri Lanka? Okay. Yes. Uh, do you know Sri Lanka? I've never been there, but I know where it is. Ah, it's near an Indian Ocean, eh? India. So, um, so my favorite 
electrical gadget is um my iPhone 4. Okay. It's very useful for me to via uh, Facebook and any other surfing internet and find my partner and chat with any other friends and uh, surfing uh, any other uh, friends. To I have my iPhone and I'm interested in iPhone 4. Okay. Thank you very much. It's nice to have you in class tonight. Sure, welcome. I would like to begin by telling a story, uh, tell a little bit about my past. Um, I have always been interested in electronics, but it's, as I reflected on this class, I thought how much electronics have changed in the past 20 years or, or 30 years. I remember when I was a young boy, I was very fascinated with a small transistor radio and it had an antenna you could pull out and um, we could listen to news or some music but that was really the only electronic device that I had for personal use. In my home we had a television set but it only had uh, three or four maybe four channels that did not broadcast all the day and for communication we had a telephone in our home, but it was it had a cord, and uh, you would dial, and you had to uh, stay attached to the cord. Now, of course, our uh, our possibilities and our options when it comes to electronics are very different. Uh, I think it's common for people to have computers, cell phones. Uh, and other devices to use, iPods, yes, and they've changed our lives. I thought it would be nice to start class tonight by uh, taking a look at some and some devices and seeing if you have any uh, questions about vocabulary and then we can go on. Does that sound okay with everyone? Yes, it, it is good. Okay. Well, here's a picture that I found online, and it has some icons that show many different. Um, let's see. I'll make it a little bit bigger. It's the zoom. Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, the zoom is the. Okay. Okay. Can everybody see that? Let's yeah. take a look at these, um, and I want to answer uh, any questions on vocabulary you have. You can see my cursor, correct? Yes. Okay. So I'll just kind of hover over them, and I'll repeat what I would call them. And uh, if uh, you would like explanation on anything, I'd be happy to help you with it. Of course, here we have a laptop or notebook computer, fax machine. This is a joystick, which is used for uh, playing video games or computer games a CD-ROM or disk, this would be a monitor, a CPU, headset with microphone, camera, I believe this is another CPU or central processing unit of a computer. This would be a wireless router, uh, you can see it broadcasts Wi-Fi television, monitor, uh, cell phone, iPod, uh, I would call this a PSP or maybe a PlayStation Vita, it's a video game system, radio, calculator, jump drive or memory stick, what? jump drive, would you like me to type that? Can you tell yeah. it like USB? USB, yeah, USB drive. USB drive or jump drive. Okay. Yeah, I, I call that a jump drive, or uh, some people call it memory stick. It's used to. How, how, how it's all right, jump drive. Is it the user usual tell pen drive? Yeah, like oh, that. Okay. It's written or USB drive. Thank you. Can you see it there on the chat? 
Okay. Uh, I'm going to go back to the pictures then. Okay. Uh, we have a webcam printer. These uh, are not as common anymore, but um, this would be a personal organizer. Many times we can do personal organizing on our phones now. Um, printer again and a camera, of course. And a lot of these are the same, with the exception of a mouse. Um, and this is probably an iPhone right here. And so uh, I think that's all. We can't see the picture. What? Oh, you aren't you aren't seeing the picture? <laughs> no. Let me. Let me put it back up. No, no. Could you? No. Could you? Okay. Is that is that better? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I was saying, here is a mouse, of course. Uh, another wireless router and this is probably representing an iPhone uh, and another digital camera a small digital camera here also so those are all very useful tools that we that we use a lot of times uh, and that's some of the vocabulary that I hope we can we can master tonight I'd like to ask you uh, what do you uh, if you could, if you had to eliminate some electronics from your life, what ones would you want to eliminate first? Television. Uh, laptop. Television. Television. Uh, who, said, yeah. who said television? Ivan, was that you that said you would eliminate television? Yeah. No, no. no. I it's me, it's the, me. The iPod. You'd eliminate iPod? Yes, because there is the iPhone and you can use it. It's okay, so you use your iPhone to eliminate uh, to eliminate your laptop? No, no, my laptop I work with it. I work with it, with it. Oh, you and work with your laptop, okay. Yes. I'm trying to figure out, Haas, was that you that said you would get rid of uh, your television? Uh, actually, it was not me, it was Abdul Razak. Okay. But I would eliminate the old radio, the one that uh, you used to use as a child. Mm. You know, there are many things that replace the radios nowadays, except in the car, maybe. We still need the radio. Yeah, you're right. Uh, what what things do you use to eliminate radio? Uh, maybe you uh, can replace it with the uh, iPod and uh, the tablets, you know, stuff like that. You know, uh, in the past we used to use uh, the, uh, it's called this, uh, you know, the cassette, Walkman or something like that. Oh, yes. Yeah. Or uh, remember the CDs that they would use that had the music yeah. on the CDs? Yeah. Yes. Exactly. Or cassette tapes? Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it, you know, um, I was talking about that with my son the other day. Uh, I don't know if you can purchase cassette tapes anymore. Actually, in my country, yes, you still can. You can in your country? Yeah, yeah. And okay. you can still put the tape in the old, you know, when you you want to get rid of the tape and just, you know, used to play with it, put the two pens in the two different openings of the, of the cassette, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Does anyone uh, use online radio or streaming music to listen to music? I, I do. Do you? What service do you like to use? Actually, uh, I usually do that using the YouTube. You know. Oh, uh, on YouTube? Okay. Yeah. Yes, I like to watch I the use to. You use YouTube also, Diego? Yes, I, I use uh, the iTunes 
uh, stream to, oh, okay. to listen for music when I was bored. <laughs> yeah. I, when I feel boring. <laughs> when you feel bored, you like to. You yeah. can listen to a lot of stations on. Yes, yeah, the, the, there are many kind of stations and and kind of uh, music that you can hear there. Yes, that's true. Does anyone else uh, use online music service? I use I use the Groove Shark. Okay, Groove Shark. Groove Shark. You you set a playlist. And uh, maybe hear a lot of mu music is of different countries. It's yes. great, the software. Wonderful. Uh, I haven't wonderful. tried Groove Shark, but you like it, huh? Oh, yeah. I use a service called Slacker. Um, I'll type it in there. It's And their website is slacker.com and it sounds like it's similar to Groove Shark. You you can select the type of music you want to listen to and there is so much and it just plays and plays and plays. Ah oh, yes. It and they is. have apps you can put on your telephone too and so it can play it on your phone. It's very in the nice. group in the group what, shark what kind of music? You what kind of should. music in this site? Over the world, you put all, you yes, put it, all yes. kinds. You put the n name of the artist, artist, and the, it search for you. Uh, there is a, there is an op one, an option in the group chat that you set three three mu musics and press the button on, uh, radio and the they. It find the uh, a music is like uh, the the same genre, the same genre. The uh, so genre. similar artists. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, Slacker um, is a service that does the same. You can select uh, artist you want to start with, and then they'll um, find different music that's. Uh, similar from different artists, and you can discover a lot of music. Yes, it's very fun. Uh, I know this is out of the topic, but what is your favorite uh, music genre? Nate? Um, I kind of like reggaeton. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> so different. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like reggaeton, and um. I like the popular, popular American music too. Um, so those would probably be my two favorites, pop and, and reggaeton. Nice choice. Bad choices, you said? Nice. No, no, I said nice. <laughs> nice choices. <laughs> you wouldn't uh, offend me if you said that. Night. Okay, okay. Uh, why reggaeton? Um. I think it's. I like the way it sounds. It's fast, and um, I don't know. I like the use of percussion. That's always okay. me, you know, and uh, just it, um, it, en it energizes me. Um, because the women too. Excuse me. On the videos, on the women. Oh, on the videos. <laughs> no, yes, no, 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 no. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I, uh, honestly, I've not seen very many videos. I've seen a couple by uh, Aventura, but that's all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> can you tell me? Can, can you tell me what what kind of reggaeton? Reggaeton. Uh, what kind of music is it? Yeah, yeah. What kind of music? Um, often the artists are from uh, like Puerto Rico. Republica yeah. Dominicana. Republic, yeah, Dominican Republic. It's uh, it's kind of like hip hop in Spanish. Panama too. In Panama, it's like, yes. It's like it's like reggae or Bob Marley or something like. That. No. Um. No. I would say faster than Bob Marley. 
much much faster rhythm. Um, it's interesting. I typed it on there. You should just uh, search. Okay. <laughs> I will see. Maybe you'd find some you like. So uh, maybe I will. We love kind it. of got off. Yeah, maybe, maybe you will. will. Yeah. Maybe you will. Um, you know, I, I want to go back to the comment that someone said about eliminating their television, because uh, in my home, uh, we do not receive a television signal. Oh. We decided, um, I guess it was maybe two years ago, that we did not want to pay for television. And so uh, I used this same laptop that I'm using right now, and we just plug an HDMI cable into the, the big television screen. And by looking online or using a service like Netflix, we're able to watch all the television that we want for free. Do any of you have similar, uh, uh, similar experience uh, with television? Yes, the Netflix uh, arrived in Brazil uh, six months ago. <laughs> okay. Do you subscribe to Netflix? Not yet, not yet. But I, 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 I already seen these these ads, ads. Yes, advertisements or ads. Yes. Okay. Actually, one of my friends has done the same thing, you know, because he was afraid about his children. So he said that he, but in this way, he he knows what kind of things his children can watch, you know. Oh, very good. Yeah, and that's a good choice. Uh, that's that's been a concern. It seems like um, cable television or satellite television, it's hard to control. There are so many channels, and so many options that many times uh, there's inappropriate exactly. inappropriate things for a family to have in their home. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, when you... But, st go ahead. I think, I think also I, uh, all the channels or uh, I, uh, the, big, the big part of channels they, they have uh, their uh, propaganda or they they show you what they want, what what um, not what I want. You understand? Yes, I understand. Um, and uh, yeah, they that don't is show. Cool. They don't. They don't. They don't show you the truth. Or okay. Yeah, definitely. Um, that is something that goes with media: is the choice of depicting things the way they want. That's true. That and also, you, you lose, you lose, you lose your time using time to watch in. And be uh, could you repeat? If you that, have Diego? a big number of channels, no, could not Diego, it's Abdurzaf. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Could you yeah. repeat that though? Uh, you cut out just a little bit. I think it. it, it you lose in your time when you're watching on TV, and you, you change uh, channels. If you have big number, you you see, and you have uh, yes. different big, a huge number of your channels now. Yes, that's true. You just sit there with the remote control, switch, switch, switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, and it just goes and goes <laughs> and goes. That's true. Yeah. yeah, you can go forever. That's I, think it, I think to use in the internet, to use in the internet, and it's better there. Yeah. yeah, I think you're right. I think you're right. Did your children have any troubles with that in the beginning? You know, it's hard for children, especially to live without TV. You know, for yeah. Well, um, right now, one of my daughter is studying in a university, so she's gone. Yeah, she yeah. doesn't. She doesn't live here. My son, who's in high school, um, he's 15 years old, and um, I think he spent most of the time on the internet. Or, you know. Yeah, he he uses the internet um, or Netflix, or um, he has an iPhone, and so 
He's entertained. You can't, you can't control him. <laughs> yeah. Well, you but you know, he's a very, he's a very active kid. Um, yeah. He likes to play sports after school, and so he doesn't spend too much time doing things like that. Mm. Sweet. Yeah, no problem. Um, let me see here. Someone made the comment. I I don't know if it was Haas that you like to use your. I don't know. Maybe it was. Maybe it was Ivan. You like to use your laptop because you create things. Yes. And yes. when you when you use your iPad, you're only playing games or um, uh, maybe checking email things like that. Yeah, uh, I think that uh, when you 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 use the iPad, it's it's just for that moment. You not the iPad for me. I use it for for cons consult no for check my emails, for check the news, for check the Facebook walls. And just it, my, uh, but when I use the not notebook or maybe the the computer the desk desktops, I I'm programming the I mean computer programming. Okay. Do you know how, uh, you know how to program? Yes, I'm 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 in computer programming. And it's more easy. or oh, oops! It's easier. I write the code in the computer. Perhaps in the not in the iPad is or mobile phone. Understand me? Do you understand? Yes. Yeah, I do understand um, you. Um, then so the, there is different ways to use the. These gadgets, 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 gadgets. Yes, gadgets. My gadgets. tough is. <laughs> no, you're fine. You're fine. No problem. No problem yeah. at all. Well, you know there are a lot of new products available. Um, tablets, for example, um, Google is selling uh, the Nexus yes, yes. Seven. The Nexus, yes, I and. Saw. And of course, the iPad, things like that. Do you, what ways could we make those more useful for people, or how could people use them in a productive way? Ah, uh, yes. Uh, in general, the mobile phone bring 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 uh, many facilities to 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 the people. To the person, but I I remember when I when I was a child, uh, it was a revolution when arrived the the beep. Do you remember the uh, beep? The beep. Can you type? Can you type it, that? It, it's beep. It's a a little box. That you receive is some messages. I don't know in English. Major, something like major. Something like what? Like major. The major. Uh, major. Major. Oh yes. 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 I yes. forgot. I forgot all about those. <laughs> yes. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, they were uh, called. Beepers, in Brazil, like, there is the two names, beep and pagers. Yeah, beeper yeah. or pager. Yes, I totally yes. forgot about that. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it was an real and rev revolution when when I arrived here, and now they deaf, they are deaf. That yeah, yes. I don't know anybody who has a beeper or a pager anymore. Yes, yeah, <laughs> that's true. It, Isn't it, it interesting the, how fast it, that happens? Yes. But I, th the, but I think the world, all the world, 
uh, is in in the way to 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 have to, to use him cell phone and the the gadget here yeah? the like iPad and forgetting the laptop and PC desktop. Yeah. Yes, I agree. The whole world is uh, very connected to those to those to things. This. Yeah. If if you if you you use it. Uh, the Vibe application or the WhatsApp, it's the same, same functionalities. The the page, uh -huh. yes, the the it's so so interesting. Yeah, it is very interesting. Yeah, it's uh, very. You know, we're talking about how fast uh, technology changes. It made me think. Oh, I wish I had a copy of this article. I was reading an article about the Voyager spacecraft. It was launched in the late 1970s and at this time it, you know it went past it has already gone past Saturn, Neptune and it is very close to leaving our our solar system. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. the article that I read said that the technology in that spacecraft and it's still functioning it's still working wow. was I think it was 128 kilobits or something like that very 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 small wow. Wow. Uh, so much smaller than any telephone that we have or anything like that in our hands <laughs> but those the creators of that technology were able to make something that has gone to the farthest reaches of space. Very incredible. It makes you think forward. What do you think some of the possibilities are for technology in our future? Yes. It's, it's all, all, all what you can't imagine it's possible. We don't, we don't, we don't know or we don't pretend what, what we will technology bring to us. It's yeah, really, very interesting. It is to me. It's very interesting. Um, uh, Ivan, being a pr computer programmer, what do you think are some possibilities for technology in the future? Oh, it's a dark, dark vision. I don't know. The the big company. Cr Big companies created many technologies that we saw in the film. In one years after, you we saw in the the department stores will be sent uh, sell for so 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 uh, cheap prices. It's it's. If if you remember the Minority Report movie, oh yes, uh, <laughs> yes, the there is there there was a a surface. The I don't I don't remember the the name of the the actor. Uh, he, was he, it maybe Tom Cruise? I I don't remember. Yes, yes, yes. Tom he Cruise, yeah. he handled handled the the. I scream with with his hand, and uh, nowadays the uh, the Microsoft create the Surface is a yes. technology. It's 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 great. It's yeah. fantastic. It is fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Yes. Miguel, I I see Miguel has joined us. Miguel Perlaza. Miguel, where are you from? Colombia. You're from Colombia. And uh, I see you're a biomedical engineer. Yeah. What kind of uh, advances do you see in the future? What what wonderful things do you think technology will do in the biomedical uh, career or field? Can you hear us, Miguel?
Okay. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, Miguel. We're not hearing you right now. I can see you typing, Miguel, but um, maybe you could check your microphone and, and come back in a little bit. Hello? Yeah? Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's good, Miguel. Okay, I'm sorry. No, no problem. Yeah. So what, Actually, what future things do you see in the biomedical field? I have studied, you know, the whole mm, history of this career, and I, I just can't dare to say this is going to happen, you know? Because a lot of great advantage has been brought with this career. And, like, technologically, oh my gosh, the humanity is just great. Now we're able to, actually, now we're able to, to create artificial hearts. We can create machines to, you know, like dialysis or to clean the blood, the blood and everything. Can yes. you just wait a little time? I think we can I just maybe we can um, change the person from from your body to another one. I just can't. I just can't imagine it. You know, it is amazing wow. that I just can't. Tell. You you made me think of something I read yesterday about a machine that was built um, to help people who had been severely burned. And they could, within, I think, two hours, they could produce liquid skin. And it would spray on to the body part that was burned to heal people who had second degree or maybe third degree burns. And so that skin would, it would be alive and it would, they would spray it on as a liquid. And those living cells could cover the burn to help prevent infection in patients. Yeah. It was very interesting. That is that is something uh, very positive we can think of. Um, and I think there are two two ways of seeing the future and technology. Ivan talked about possible uh, negative aspects, but you're right, Miguel, there are some very positive possibilities also. Hus, do you have any opinions on this topic? Yes, actually, I think uh, the future will bring many stuff in, in different fields, you know. These days, actually, I'm studying medicine in the future. They keep saying that it's about uh, nanotechnology, concerning treating cancer, you know, the future of treating many uh, uh, ugly diseases like AIDS and stuff like that. So all will depend on uh, technology. Okay. Yes, I agree. The broadcast information on going uh, faster the understand me? Yeah. The yes, information the is broadcast yeah. very quickly. Very almost quickly. instantly. Yes. Well, this this class is a great example. Here we are, yes. people from many parts of the world having a conversation yeah. uh, and being able to see one another. It's it's fantastic. The, this app this application, the verbling, yeah. it's fantastic. Yeah, it it's really fantastic. is. Yes. And to me, um, my profession in the daytime, I'm a teacher. I teach yeah. Spanish actually, and uh, to me, I think this is pure education. I love it because uh, I'm not giving you a grade or trying to bribe you with a grade or anything like that. But uh, you're here because you want to learn, and I'm here because yes. I want to teach. And that's uh, and and you share with me, and I share with you, and uh, we all are uplifted, and we all benefit. It's very wonderful. yeah, yeah. That's amazing. It is really amazing. Um, so we're, we're here talking about socially how this technology is bringing people together but there's also an argument where people say um, technology actually makes people less social some people especially young people uh, spend a lot of time uh, in front of a computer or with a cell phone texting or something like that and they lose 
what's called face-to-face -face social skills. They have a problem communicating with somebody in real time. What do you think about that? Do you think? Actually, it's, go ahead. It's a, big, it's a big problem, and I can remember the example you said in the other uh, lectures. But that uh, in your house, it's not allowed to use mobiles on two tables. And two oh, tables. right. Okay. This is an example. So you have you sit. You you want to set the rules. So we put uh, we so that the technology does not interfere with our social life. No. Right. That's a great opinion. Thank you. Yes. Uh, well, I think that. Uh, if you have kids or children, uh, you have to. Well, if you allow them to to use the computer all day, you are not uh, a good father because they have to. Well, they are kids and they have to to talk and play. I don't know if uh, maybe your kids uh, will be able to become lazy. Yes. Or things like that. I think that you have to be careful in in, in that situation. <laughs> okay. Rodrigo says he's one of them. You're one of the kids, Rodrigo. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> you need to be careful. <laughs> well, we'll 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 be watching you, Rodrigo. We're watching you. <laughs> Uh, how many of you store information, uh, documents, or photos, or something in the cloud? Oh. No, I haven't tried it. Tried it. I haven't tried it. Um, just in the cloud. Do you know what that means? No. Maybe something like the SkyDrive. I've heard of it, but I did not use it. Okay. You have your own library on the net. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, for example, um, Google has Google Docs. And um, on your Google Plus account, for example, my, uh, I use my mobile phone. And every picture I take on my phone instantly uploads onto Google Plus, And it's stored online for me. Uh, and then the documents I make for work and things like that, uh, they also are saved on a Google server somewhere. I don't know where. But when I log on to any computer, uh, I can access my photos or I can access my, my documents. Would you feel safe using a service like that, putting all of your information on a remote server? No. No. I don't you feel wouldn't? safe. No. I'll choose the uh, appropriate information for me to put, but not everything, you know, some private things. Okay. It's scary thing, you know. And we, we heard a lot about uh, the companies and the privacy issues. And mm -hmm. I think it's the kind of information what, what you will be received. For, if would you like to give an example? For example, your credit card or your, your account. Do you per, do you guys make uh, purchases online? What? Do you purchase products online? On case. Do you pr purchase or buy things online? Yes, Okay. Yes. E well, eBay and stuff like that. Yeah, like right on eBay or things like that. So you have confidence in in uh, their security. Especially the, the famous ones, the companies. Yes, I think uh, this is safe. Okay. I don't like to pay with my <laughs> credit card on the internet. That's a problem. That's a problem for you. Yeah. Okay. It's not different on what, when, you, where you you doing your you your purchase in your home or your in outside. Yeah. Well. Or, or a public wifi. Okay, like pub. You wouldn't like to like on a public, uh, 
like public Wi-Fi, like an internet cafe or something like that? Uh, it's not safe. Right, okay. I think it's very common actually here in the United States now. A lot of people uh, will purchase things uh, with applications on their phone or uh, just online. And because of that, um, one thing that's useful here is the credit card companies, uh, if, if a purchase is made and you did not make it, uh, you don't have to pay for it. They'll, they take care of it somehow. I don't know how they do that. And they track those people down. So that's nice. Yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. yeah. Because I agree, I wouldn't want to be responsible if somebody, if I didn't have that insurance. You know. And the credit card uh, companies in my country, they send you a message each time you pay a larger number of money. Yes. So, yeah, so if, if uh, it wasn't you, you can, you can know and you can uh, cancel the, the purchase. Yes. Yeah, and that's very important to have. Uh, it's something that I think is very important. I saw I saw something like one have uh, stuff when he when he close from your credit card or debit card he have all of uh, your information and can do some purchase or in your place. Yeah, um, and that's that you don't want boy identity theft is a real problem, isn't it? Um, you you've got to be careful to keep your your important information secure. That's for sure. Uh, with only your email account, sometimes uh, someone can take a lot of information from you that you know, or yeah. get into your bank or whatever. They can do a lot of things. And, and, uh, if it, you have the Google email, they know what. It, you you write inside your email. Yes. Yes. They do, do you? Yes. If it, you uh, look it over the emails that arrived in your your inbox, you will see the title about the things that it, you are writing constant constantly constantly uh, constantly constantly yes and they yeah. they send advertisements based on that don't they yes yes mhm mm uh, i i even saw one time uh, if i were to google something and you were to google the same word yes we, we would get different results based on our internet uh, history what really? repeat, please repeat. It, strategy marketing, strategy marketing. Yeah, uh, yes, strategy marketing. Uh, I saw I saw a video one time, and it showed that um, if two people Google the same thing, yes, you will get some different results. Mm, yes, because. Yeah. Um, there's a history of your inter of your internet searches or your internet history and or, uh, internet behavior your internet behavior yes your internet behavior some will show more more images some will put links in different orders and uh, that was a video I saw I think one year ago it was it was very interesting it, it, the more incredible incredible and we are talking to uh, one tools of Google. The Google Plus is yes, <laughs> yes. Maybe uh, they're listening to us right now. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we are being monitoring. Right? How, yes. <laughs> how about the influence part of of the social networks like Facebook? They isolate people. You 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 saw everyone connected to their their stuff or their, their cell phone and 
they, 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 are, they are not connecting each other or the, our family or their family, their, their family. Yeah, that's a very good point. And it's something I think in the future that we'll need to watch and be careful of. Uh, both Miguel and and Ivan talked to us about some fantastic possibilities in the future, but uh, there's always possibilities of dangerous things too. And so, uh, like anything, uh, you know, for example, an automobile when it was invented was a wonderful thing for the world, but with it comes a lot of responsibility because it can be a dangerous thing also. And so I think we just need to remember as we use technology and as technology advances that we need to be careful that we use it wisely and and teach you know teach our children how to use it wisely also. That's important. Yeah. Oh, sure, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, very important. Well, uh, one last question. I think we just have a couple minutes left. Um, what would you do or what would happen in your opinion if there suddenly was no electrical devices? <laughs> we have a oh, good man. life. We have a good life. <laughs> you think you would, uh, the life would be better? Yeah, I think, yeah. I think so. But we are so used to, to you know, not let you die. Yeah, it would it would be hard for some people. So we have one vote. My life would be better. Uh, Diego, what do you think? Stone better age. or worse? Yes, yeah, Stone Age. Maybe. Uh, I think <laughs> for me it will be worse because I use the computer all day. Okay. But maybe for some people it will be good because their families get close. Or I don't know. Okay. More so a split vote. Haas, very quickly, we have we have one more minute. Haas, okay. what's your vote? Better or worse? Worse. Better. Worse. Worse. No. I go with better. 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 Okay. Yeah. Ivan, worse or better? Worse, because I mean, we're unemployed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me too, I would vote worse, and Miguel will let you have the last vote, worse or better? Worse. Worse, okay. Well, thank you so much for joining class. I've enjoyed this conversation um, and enjoyed meeting all of you. Uh, keep practicing your English. You're doing a wonderful job, and I hope to see you in some more uh, conversations later, some of my other conversations. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you so no. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Good night now. See you tomorrow. Uh, good okay. Night. Goodbye. Bye -bye.